Are you okay, Kilia? Haven't you been pushing yourself too hard recently? <laughs> you appear to be very frustrated over not being able to master the final skill. But don't rush yourself. Father told me that it even took him a hundred years to perfect that move. However, I think you can master it in less time than that. Even Void couldn't master that skill. The final skill is different than other skills. It's not about how strong or superior it is. Father gave Void many lectures about it. The road to mastering the final skill is paved by training your heart. My heart? This technique is such a pain. It doesn't come naturally to me at all. <laughs> you are the only one who thinks that, Kilia. I know what I did to Void was wrong. If only I hadn't come here, you wouldn't have left your family behind. I'm a plague. What are you saying? Father is the one who wanted you to inherit the ultimate demon technique. It's not your fault, Kilia. Void is the way he is. So Father was preparing himself for when Void leaves home. But Kilia, if you ever come across Void in the future, I want you two to become friends. Even though he is stubborn and rude, he is my only brother. Will you do it? I don't think Void will want that to happen, but... Yes, I have to tell Void as well. It will be all right. Void will always listen to what I have to say. I believe that one day, we will all live happily together with big smiles on our faces. Episode 14, Seraphina's Secret. Whew. Anyway, you're the man now, bro. Yes, his overload skill was once taken by Void Dark, but he has attained a new one. How unexpected. It's an overload that can control the power of the fearful tyrant overlord Kalidia, Plip! Now Sir Kilia's value has risen even more! Which means, as his master, I am worth even more too! <laughs> what are you talking about? You're the only one who hasn't grown, Sarah! Silence! I've been perfect since the day I was born. Unlike you, I don't have any growing up to do. Is that so? I don't like the tone of your voice. Depending on your answer, I may not forgive you. There is just one last magical sphere. According to the Prinny's information, it is located in... Gorgeous. What? Can it be? Is this the chapter where we finally get to change Seraphina's personality forever? Because dear lord, does it kind of need to happen? <laughs> where would you like to go, dude? Are you absolutely sure that the final magical spear is and gorgeous? You're mighty persistent. Based on the information your pretties gathered, I double-checked using my clairvoyance. The information is accurate. The last magical spear is in Gorgeous. With Red Magnus's scorching flame and Usalia's Toto Bunny, it seems like we're being targeted, Blip! Whether it's on purpose or just by coincidence, I'm betting it's the former. That's way more up Void Dark's alley. Seraphina Sis's home is in crisis. Let's hurry, everyone! Please wait. Are we really going to Gorgeous? Of course! Where else would we go, sis? What? Don't tell me you're gonna watch your own netherworld suffer! N no it's not that! Seraphina, do you not want to go because you ran away from home, Flip? Yes! That's exactly correct! I disobeyed my father and ran away from home because he was trying to arrange a marriage of convenience! If I return to Gorgeous, what will happen? I see. I understand your situation. <sighs> Sir Kilia, you truly understand what's going on inside my heart, don't you? All right. Then Serafina will stay here while we go save Gorgeous. No! You can't do that either! Your ex 
acting very strange. Did you eat something off the floor? No, I did not. I am the Overlord of Gorgeous, one of the richest netherworlds in all the three worlds. Everybody already knows that clip. That's why we need to go help Gorgeous. <sighs> I have no choice. I shall go with you. Are you sure? You don't have to force yourself. myself at all. Okay then. Hello, this is Serafina. This is an emergency. Activate plan B. I won't hear any excuses. We don't have much time. Either get it done or die trying. Please give her character growth. Please give her character growth. Please give her character growth. Gorgeous, another world that has everything one could ever desire. Flattering beauty. something too. This place isn't the same as what I saw through my clairvoyance. Besides, most netherworlds have been invaded by the lost and turned into ruins. Gorgeous, on the other hand, seems unusually pristine. I would imagine this place would be targeted first since it's so wealthy. But that's... it's safe, so who cares? You startled me! Sis, don't just yell all of a sudden! It's an illusion! I... I don't know how to say this, but... Sorry, sis. This is the truth behind Gorgeous. This is what I saw through my clairvoyance. Whoa, whoa, Sarah! What is going on here? S Silence! There is a deep and profound reasoning for this that's much longer than Dragon Overlord Babylon himself! Did the loss get to it already? N no, that's not it! As I said, there is a deep and profound reason! Ah, damn it! This is why I said I didn't want to come back here! Are they the lost? No, they're bodyguards my father hired. Enemies. I'm relieved, but... No, they're my father's bodyguards. They won't hesitate to attack anyone who trespasses. Wait, they consider Serafina to be a trespasser? Oh man, this place... Yeah, this place is empty. It is... We are fighting in a square. That is... I don't think we've ever had a straight up like fight in a square level before. That's different. All right. So the moment Kilius said this place is too clean, I immediately thought, okay, this is it's an illusion. That's clearly what's happening here. I did not expect it to literally be a giant stand up. That's truly strange. All right. Let's get some summoning done. So, do I want? Jesus, should I just let them come to me? They're level seventy. What, what level are my characters again? Christo's level 109. Okay, everyone's relatively up there. I haven't played this game in like two weeks because I binge I binge recorded like two or three chapters last time I played this game, so it's been a, a little bit of a gap. I had to remind myself what level we are, because damn, you make fast progress in this game in levels. 
So, people are very vulnerable to wind and water, I'm seeing across the bar, ball, board, is the word. So, we're gonna wanna summon people who can attack those elements. Uh, obviously, uh, Metallia can attack basically anything. But uh, Dargona specializes in wind. And I think I'm also going to want to, uh... I don't think I want to attack right away, do I? Yeah, they can't move very fast. So let's just bring some characters out and put them out front, but let the enemies largely come to me, because there's a a whole lot of them. And ideally, I let them. I think I'd let them approach me first. Oh, instant revenge mode. All right. I thought I'd accidentally activated something for a second there, Christo. Seraphina. Just trying to space characters out a little bit so they don't get too caught. Oh yeah, Brave out can go out front for tanking purposes, more or less. That's probably a decent distribution there. Isalia, still still trying to level her up when, when given the opportunity. Alright. Put you in defend mode. So you have an overload. Take up two or more actions after this action for one turn. Oh wow. Yeah, that matches up with what was happening when he was freaking out before. So he gets extra actions just overall. There'd be a lot of extra attacks, for example. Let's see if I'll get them to approach me for now. Uh, I should probably should defend with these other characters. Just to see if they can make it here. But I think we're out of range for the most part. Whoa, whoa. Jesus, I nuked that guy. Okay, admittedly, I may have forgotten briefly that, oh yeah, those are clearly wrestlers, so they're going to throw a character straight at me, but we're fine, mostly. Girl of Harl took a bit of a nick, but that's easily remedied with a giga heal on that one character. I'm not an angel. There we go, and of course now he's, one, now he's 111. Gained two levels from that. What a weird character in that, in that regard. Alright. I'm tempted to just go charging out there. Is that guy a boss? Ricky, level 71. He's a different color, which, yeah, he's a middleweight heavyweight, so the, he, the heavyweight has less health than the middleweights. That's a weird logic. Alright, well, it happens. Ooh. I was just thinking, let's, uh... Let's go over here. Use an... Oh, not the overload. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Well, I probably should... I could do the overload. I was just thinking of doing the, uh... Where's the... One of these abilities goes with specifically Red Magnus. Flaming Spin Kick is an AoE attack. Oh yeah, that would nuke both of them. But it would be more effective down here. Maybe I should move down that way. Come down to here, bring Red Magnus with me. Do the special Flaming Spin Kick. Oh yeah. That'd be bad for that little group down there. Let's do the overload real quick for more actions. I'm in scary mode. Hello. Did they just take away my flaming spin kick? They totally took it away. Alright, well that was irrelevant now. I can do other attacks, I guess. Let's see, let's do Exploding Tiger a few times maybe. Or what, what's a Billy Holy Water? Let's do flaming spin. Oh, oh, I can't move anymore though. Awkward. I could use Red Magnus for that purpose though. This one needs the bear. The bear can't make it over there. Huh. Let's see what I can do with these characters first. If I can wipe out these back characters, I don't have to worry about coming back here anyway. So, they're both vulnerable to ice, right? Yeah. Special, um, Terra Ice. It does that shape and everything. All right. That should wipe out both of them. Getting rid of that whole problem. So yeah. Let's go ahead and lift up Kilia then. And throw him over here. So we can do his line attack. Hey guys, you're about to get wrecked. Sweet kills happening. Damn you. Damn you. Alright. Followed that up with the other, another attack because he can just keep doing this. That guy's surprisingly resilient. There we go. Do I have another action still? I sure do. Now we can do ability holy water. That'll finish off the boss looking dude. Let's just see what, who we can reach with my other characters. 
Let's see, Dargona is good against the wrestlers. There's one wrestler left. And Dargona probably can't reach them. Let's see, how close is she by hitting with a... a Gigawind, for example? Yeah, she's gotta get pretty far away. Maybe you can Montas her really far, though. Oh, you can. Alright. That's a decent chance of getting close enough. I'm always surprised by the voices that come out of these monsters. They never sound like the monsters you'd expect them to sound like. So I could target them with that. Wouldn't do that much damage. What about, but what about Giga Wind? Slightly out of range. Because of course it is. Alright, well, let's see if I can make up for that. Usalia? You can make some more progress here. Yay! And now it should be in range for Giga Wind. Which doesn't, still doesn't do that much damage. Oh well. Gotta give her some chance of leveling up, because she's falling behind. Dear lord, my movement range on this character! <laughs> Alright, so who can you reach? Because you can't move as far. Alright, you move that far. Do I have big AoE attacks? I have Blade Rush, Excavation, Vacuum Slice. You cannot, you can't line them up with Vacuum Slice, though. Nah, not the moment. I could stack some of them up, though. Oh, what if I do that? Yeah, maybe I should do that since there's so few enemies left here anyway. Let's just go ahead and stack them up for bonus levels. Boom, level 140. That's a little scarier, right? He'll probably he'll someone's probably gonna get nuked, but it's not too bad because it's a chance of getting a nice spike of uh, experience out of the deal. We'll just back away a little bit. All right, vacuum slice versus. Overlord's Wrath. Oh, that'll kill Zeroken. Back up a little bit. Still, that's... Yep. That'll do a decent chunk of damage. Obviously, he'll survive. Yeah, I probably want to stack up more of these... Can you still do stuff? No, you can't. You can just move again. That guy's still alive. All right. Let's position Kil uh, Kilia over here to deal with this. Jeez, that teleporting's freaky. If he becomes the first target and doesn't get killed in one hit, his counterattack would be really strong. He also might just die. Which would be a little funny. Be a little funny. Let's get the bear a little closer. Seraphina can still attack. Let's see, can Seraphina get in a range to attack? He can slightly hurt Kane. By not a lot. It looks like I can't quite get him. Oh, I could hit Rick if I attacked here, but that would hit Brave and Killia. <laughs> It's not really what I want to do. I was want I want to see if I can finish off Rick mostly. Oh well. Hey Brave, let's get you. Let's get you. Cl Oops. Let's get you closer to the uh, big scary enemy. In fact, maybe let's get you to be the closest enemy to that character. That might be handy. All right. I'm being mostly reckless because it seems like we're so close to victory that who cares? Oh, well. They threw the high-level character over towards my to my most vulnerable unit. I should have seen that coming, probably. It happens. Alright. You guys. Let's see how far away I can get you from the current threat over there. Because I'm thinking I'm using a certain nasty prince ability. Since I'm surrounded by so many baddies over here. Yeah, let's take out Pete and Rick right now. No more throwers now. Unless I want to get a little into a better position, maybe. Yep, that'll hit all three of the bad guys here. And Serafina and Brave. So let's get them out of the range real quick. Oops, crap. I think it was right there. So let's move Serafina. Brave cannot get out of range, can they? It's not that much damage, though. I think I'll just take it. Oh, never mind. It is a lot of damage. I should not just take it. <laughs> um... Where's the exact coordinates? Okay, it's right there. So Seraphina can just wander over a little bit and pick up Brave. And just throw him closer to the, the big scary guy over there that we're sort of building up. And this will wipe out the others. So we just have the one high-level character to work on. And someone will get a sweet experience prize. They, they, won't, be Dargo they won't be Dargona, though. Because Dargona dead... They're going to, like, so dead. Alright. So. The one bad guy's over here, kind of alone. Your overload is, makes you invulnerable. Cool. 
Oh, I, I can't quite get... You're not quite at the enemy, though. I'd rather walk right up to the enemy before I actually use that. Cryo Heartbreaker, Seraphina ability. Avidia Holy Water, you can just use all the time now. Let's see. I can't use Cryo Heartbreaker because he's, yeah, I'm too far away from the enemy and Seraphina's over here. Red Magnus can move, though. And he can't quite reach the enemy. Oh, crap, Kilia can't quite reach the enemy either. All right, we can probably do Flaming Spin Kick. Hello. God damn, that's a strong attack. Someone more, someone more, someone more effective than I was expecting it to be. All right. Yeah, that puts Killy at the top of the ranks real fast. Whew! Looks like we handled those bodyguards. They attacked us, even though we came here to save Gorgeous. What kind of stuff did you teach them, Sarah? I don't want to hear that coming from a muscle-headed idiot who was betrayed by his own underlings. I was prepared for some consequences. Let's just focus on the reason we came here in the first place. Yes! Where is the magical spear flip? According to my clairvoyance, where is this? <sighs> this is all to defeat Void Dark. I have no choice. Hey, Sarah, what are you doing? Silence! Could you not talk to me? I'm searching. Searching? What are you looking for, sis? This is... For good reason. This is the entrance to the castle. Since I'm already here, I don't care anymore. Now, please witness the reality of my gorgeous world. Madam Serafina called us all in here. Is she gonna have a special bonus, dude? That must be it, dude! We built Gorgeous in such a short period of time. It was worth all the hard work, dude. Ah, oh, I can't wait. You guys all know why I called you in here today, right? Of course, dude! Thank you very much! Isn't it about our bonus, dude? A whole year's supply of sardines? What are you talking about? Did you really think you were going to fool anyone by, by making the richest netherworld in all the three worlds out of paper mache? But, but you're the one who cheaped at us out when we needed all the funding, dude! Yeah, dude! Plan B wasn't supposed to be perfect, dude! I see. Then you guys are trying to say it was my fault Plan B failed. Th that's right! But it's not like that, dude! Well, alright. I am partially to blame for your mistakes. Huh! <sighs> Thank God, dude! But, all of your paychecks for the next month will be Plan B. Does that mean they're gonna be paper mache, dude? Inviolable entrance. What's going on here? Gorgeous sure has changed. Awesome! What's up with these high-tech gadgets? I'm getting really excited! This is my first time seeing these! Rosalia is getting excited too, Blip! For your own safety, please don't wander around. The security system may think you're an intruder. Yes, 
just like that. A solid steel fortress, protected by advanced security systems. Correct. This is the colossal underground shelter that my father spent the entire fortune of this netherworld to build. People say A shelter? Why did he build it? of course, is all because of Demon Emperor Void Dark. My father was a coward to begin with, but he was one of the first to sense the threat Void Dark posed. And my father predicted that he wouldn't leave the richest netherworld in all the three worlds alone, so he built this shelter. As long as you're inside this fortress, you'd be safe, Blitz? If that had been guaranteed, then my father wouldn't have tried to make me marry Void Dark. What's that supposed to mean? After my father completed the shelter, he was still extremely worried, so he tried to improve it every day. Because of that, I convinced my pitiful father to let me take over the title of Overlord. With my Baylor gaze. That goes beyond convincing. Even though I achieved the title of Overlord, he was still worried. And then, finally made the worst decision yet. Which was the arranged marriage. Oh, wow. What an awful dad. I was outraged, and although I'm the Overlord, I left home and decided to assassinate Boy Dark. You got in over your head. What were you planning to do if you hadn't met me? Oh, my heart. At that time, I was still an inexperienced princess. I thought I could surely use my overload skill, Baylor Gaze, to turn Void Dark into my servant. <laughs> you sure are confident. But what if your highly praised Baylor Gaze doesn't work against Void Dark? Madam Serafina, you're the best. Madam Serafina, you're the best. Madam Serafina, you're the best! No man in this universe can resist the seductive glare of my Baylor gaze. Well, except for Sir Killian. Does it work against Killian, Boyd? Why is that? I don't know. As a matter of fact, it's not something that I'd like to admit. must have noticed our intrusion. Everyone, please be careful. Since my father is a coward, he'll eliminate all intruders, no matter how much it'll cost. In this case, we need to meet Serafina's father quickly so that we can explain ourselves. Yeah, but can you change Red Magnus back to normal first? My, please excuse me. What was I? Netherworld effect, protection beam is active. So apparently a laser is going to attack a designated- that, that must be right there. Or is that the warp? Uh, is it a warp tile? That appears to be a warp tile. So where's the designated laser location? Because apparently it's going to attack that each turn. Oh look, here's all the spots. Warp, warp, and a warp. We have three warping locations. Blue, purple, yellow. So there are fast ways to get around between those three locations. Oh, hello. Okay, so they're gonna probably be storming us from every direction then at once, because they just have the ability to surround us. Okay. That probably means I'm just gonna wanna guard those locations thoroughly. Let's see, what are you guys weak against? You're weak against wind. You're weak against wind. You're all the same unit, so of course you're all weak against wind. This direction isn't covered in bad guys, so if I ran in that direction, we'd have a little bit more defense, too. But for now, I think I'll settle for without. Um, hey, Dargona. Maybe not stand directly in front of that hole, but uh, let's see, Giga Wind. Oh, I don't have a line-based version of that one. All right, what can I do with this? Not that much, but it's something. Let's just work on doing what I can to this first wave. Girl Laharl. 
set up your usual blazing attack. What? That's the wrong attack. Whoops. All right, Overlord. It's actually not that effective. Maybe I should stack it with the other character's ability. See, it, it probably won't be the right location, though, from there. Yeah, because Dragon is already in the way. Dragon can probably move, though. To the side. Letting you get the perfect attack. Just doing what I can to work on them. That'll have them mostly dead. I see Metalia. You should have a nice, strong wind ability, right? Terra Wind. You can do a line. Boom. I'll take out the people on that side. Red Magnus could come over here and do a... a uh, let's see here. Giant Body Slam will be in a line like that. All right, I could back up one more row to do that without teleporting. Well, also, th this will also give me the ability to guard the locate. Oh, won't quite kill him, huh? Okay, that's fine. Because I can then bring Zero Ken in to do a Hellfire shot. And that'll be enough to finish them off. Now let's bring in Brave. So we could use somebody at the front line here. Over here should be safe. Do you have an AoE I can use? You have Cyclone Claw, but I can't use that without getting myself in danger a little bit. Let's see what I can do with Killia real quick. Because you also have Hellfire Shot. Looks like it'll do a lot of damage, so I just need to move forward a little bit so I can get to it in range. There we go. Alright. So now everyone should be dead. Basically. Get nuked, get nuked, get nuked, get nuked, get... Oh, they lived. I mean, they, they died before Zero can after all. Alright. Who's the squishiest direction? Let's bring Brave over here. To distract against these guys. So we're trying not to get, uh... Trying not to get Metalia killed right away. Let's see. Three more characters. Krista, Serafina, Eusalia, basically. There's no one to heal right now with Eusalia. And there's no one to heal right now with, uh, Christo, so there's no reason to bring him out. I'll bring Eusalia out and attempt to... Maybe block using Serafina and some other characters... The ability of, uh, to approach their, uh, Metalia. What kind of enemies are dealing with? Okay, these characters might have ranged... Oh, yeah, spellcasters are coming in. They might nuke my entire party. That could be bad. Wait, Parsers. Isn't that the healing character? I feel like she didn't have offensive skills. These other characters might have AoEs, though. We'll see what happens. We'll see how this part goes. Let's see. Defend? Because they're going to be coming. I'm gonna avoid- let's, let's put Serafina back. I'm gonna avoid summoning Serafina and Crystal till next round. Because we're gonna have some attackers coming in. There is nothing to be feared. Or not. Security system is focusing on its target. Okay, so it's gonna shoot there this turn. And apparently none of the enemies came in and, and warped. Interesting. I thought they were all gonna come in and teleport to me to attack me, but they didn't. Okay. And the lasers went ahead and just... I think they just targeted my entire party. That's kind of a dick move. Well, that incentivizes me to move, I guess. Let's see, I wonder if I can reach anyone from here with this character. You're all resistant... You're weakest against fire. But I can't reach you. And I'm not great at fire either. You're also not quite resistant to ice. Which has a line attack that doesn't quite reach you, but it almost could. I just need to start heading that way. Let's see, let's get everyone off of those dangerous tiles. And we'll just start heading north, I guess, and attack those characters next. That sounds like fun. Let's see, can I hit you from here? You're weak, you're resistant to wind anyway, which is kind of a bummer. We have a lot of ground to cover too. Here, Dragona. Let's have you take a step back. There we go. Girl, the Harlequin will probably move kind of far. Yep. Zirkin's pretty far away, but could totally grab the caster. Let's get Kilia down there so he's blocking the path a little bit. Alright. 
Let's throw Metalli a little closer. Chain range now. Probably should have counted this a little more carefully. Yeah, there we go. The range hit one of them at least. And not all the way down, but it'll be close. Hellfire shot. Ah, it'll take out that one at least. And let the, the other ones are going to be on their way over. Let's see. Let's go ahead and throw Red Magnus down there. He might be able to finish off this other guy. Ah, uh, not quite. Close, though. If it hits, it's the problem. Low chance of hitting. I'll just have to commit to it. That body press always works out pretty well. Let's see. Everyone's off the danger tiles. It's probably safe-ish to bring Christo in now. And Serafina. Let's see. Might as well pick up somebody to get them closer. Even if it's just a little bit. There we go. Can you get any... You can't get any closer. Wow. Alright. Ah! They're gonna. Might as well do that then. There we go. Let's see the aftermath of these attacks. Alright, well, well I, I did hit. Cool. And, wow, counterattack for zero damage. Good job. Super damage lord learned. What is that one? Can't even look yet. I'll probably look at it over here. Super damage lord. A shrink ability that has fire and power. Alright. That could be a cool, a cool attack. Laser strikes have happened and not hitting anybody on my team. I get the feeling they're not even going to attack the enemy. Okay, now the enemies are approaching. Homing eraser, what does that do? Wow, critical damage for... Eh, damage. <laughs> uh, systems focusing on target. Wow, it attacks my entire party every turn. I thought it would just target something and everyone had to avoid that spot, but it, it targets my entire team. Hello, Serafina. You just kind of made your way over to that teleporter, huh? Oh, did I stop her on the teleporter? <laughs> Whoops. I did not mean to do that, actually. Um, that's fine. We're being snuck up on be from behind, though, which is bad, because they're going to start destroying my casters. So some of my characters should probably head backwards to deal with some of these characters. How far can Bear make it? Not very far. Bear should probably just commit to going forward then. No! Bear can make Bear can at least be somewhat useful back here. Let's see. They're on their way in. Can I get closer to that one? Not really. Alright. My primary goal here is just to get in the way. So slice won't work, but overload's wrath probably will? Yeah. That'll nuke at least one of them. Your vulnerability is fire. I can do that. I can absolutely do that. Hello, new friend. Goodbye, new friend. Alright. Red Magnus. We have some new friends over there, too. Let's see, what are they vulnerable to? They are weak against spears and staves. A little strong as bows, but let's see what Serafina can do. I think she's getting underleveled, unfortunately. Yeah. It's getting a little unfortunate. And there's no... Oh, yeah. It's the Serafina level, but we're fighting all female characters, so her bonus doesn't work against practically anyone. Oh, well, it worked against a few people, but I killed all those ninjas already, didn't I? Let's see, we'll see what we can do here. Um, I could overload. That'd be handy. Let's see, if I overload here... Can I just... Oh, Super Damage Lord is a ability for this form, huh? That'll be scary. 60% chance that was a little bummer, but, uh... Yeah. Let's try to get him in range at least. Yeah. Alright, let's see what this new ability looks like. It's too late for regrets. Go to sleep. Huh. Sleepy, sleepy. You shit. Huh? Oh. Learning new abilities from Italia, then. Super He's honestly just really psyched to be here. Oh my god. Okay. That escalated. A lot. 
be really embarrassing if that misses. It did not miss. <laughs> it did not miss. Okay, they're gone. They're very gone. Alright, Killia. Let's, let's get this character stop these characters from crowding us. The video holy water, that'll be handy. Zero kin. We got a path to block, more or less. Purgatory Palm should do nicely, probably. Yeah. Probably the thing to do here. And we can capitalize on their weakness, which is win. Cool. Giga Wind. Single target. That'll put a chunk of damage on them. Oh, a Nick. That's a bummer. Counterattack, counterattack, counterattack. Oh. Alright, counterattack successful, and now I can overload. Thank you for that. Suddenly there's a whole bunch of zero kins to deal with the fact that we're getting kind of swarmed here. Which makes it easier to deal with that whole situation, because I can kind of block the paths everywhere. Hello. I'm here to crowd you and cause you problems. <laughs> Alright. So. Hellfire shot. I can't go that far? I can do it over there, I guess. Obviously they're all clones, so they kind of suck. But they're worth something, though. And that they're at least little distractions. Oh man, if I destroy them on if I throw them on the yellow, she can teleport in and then I can have access to their caster. Uh, maybe I should just beat on her for a little bit. Where's one that yeah, hurricane makes you go behind me. There we go. You can't get any closer right now. Anyone coming from that side? Nope, that's the where all the crystals were. Let's see. You saw the still needs to move. So can you do a ranged attack? A soul circus will not hit the target. It's everything's shaped weird over here. Braveheart gives us a bonus attack. I could give that to Girl Laharl. You can do Purgatory Palm on these two. Cool. Who's left to give commands to? I think I got I think I got everyone now. Except Christo. Let's get him off the danger zone for starters. Who needs a heal? Maybe no one? Yeah, probably good actually. Alright, special. Piercing light is a damage attack. Oh yeah, let's do let's plan on a damage attack. Piercing light. Oh, that would do some damage to Pam. Take that, Pam. Alright, uh. Let's try it. Yeah, let's try that attack. I'll just get this clone out of the way real quick. But be ready to come back them a moment later for sure. Attacks everywhere. My true power. Right there. Huh. Trap. You. Trap. Oops. One of those counterattacks definitely did not work out entirely in my favor. Alright. Back to blocking these characters, and that purgatory will probably take out one of them. Get wrecked. Alright. It's very handy being able to summon so many characters. With that, it's super good crowd, good way of kind of managing the crowds that are coming after us. So I believe everyone's off the danger zones. Yep, we're good. Yeah, the down. The problem with those healers is they can only really heal one guy per turn, and that's not going to keep up with the damage I'm doing. Dear Lord, there's a lot going on right now. Much to do about nothing with all those counterattacks, isn't there? It's focusing on its target. Guess what? It's just basically everyone. Oh, cool. There's a limitation on how many people they can target, apparently, because some of my characters are not targeted. Let's see, you guys. Both weak against ice. Guess what? I might have such an ability somewhere. Alright. What was my hit chance? I forgot to check that. Not the best hit chance. Let's just see if it works before I move on. Nope, didn't work. Alright. That'll make it, that'll help me avoid that. Can I attack anyone from nope, can't reach them from here. Let's see. Ideally, I would reach more enemies, but I don't know if I'll be able to reach them from here, because we did hulk out all the way down here, so... Seraphina, Go ahead and lift up Red Magnus and throw him... Oh. Let's move Killia first. Just head on upstairs for now. Let's go. We made some of these characters so far away. Actually, we might be able to do the most damage if I let him go that way. No. This ability doesn't last very long, so let's go ahead and just 
let him nuke somebody right now. See if it works. Oh, really, a nick. A particle of hit points left, because of course... Anyway, this will let Seraphina teleport back to purple over here. Giving her a chance to get back in the action. Let's move forward with Bear Tank a bit. Alright, these characters are kind of barricading this spot. But I can attack them from across. In fact, I can still pretty much surround them from every other direction. Because these characters are so damn fast. This will allow me to attack them while also not sta standing on that one vulnerable spot. So, Purgatory Palm. Purgatory Palm. Wow, there's some damage from the protagonist, from the lead one. Alright, that'll wipe them out more or less. Dargona. Let's see what you can do over here, Giga Wind. We'll actually reach. Sweet. And you can do a Purgatory Palm too. So, so much punching for this party. They went into rage mode just in time to not matter anymore. Sweet. Alright, special. Purgatory Palm. I forgot to nuke that last one. It said it was going to kill, but I guess it must have missed that character. Running out of enemies, though, I think, so I think we're pretty healthy at the moment. Um, Let's see. You get right there, and you'll attack everywhere except for the spot directly in front of you, which means that you can go over there to attack. And you can do... Flatty Dance. That'll do a lot of damage. Let's try to soften them up first with an Overload's Wrath. Oh, that's a high chance of damage. Do I have a weaker attack, maybe? Spin? That might not kill. Alright. Giving us a chance to kill with that character, maybe. Yay! You saw they got a kill. She's still super low, though, unfortunately. Who needs health in this party right now? Let's see. I don't know what to do with this bear guy. He's just kind of here. Oh, well. Let's go back in the thing. It's fine. I don't think we- I don't think you're gonna be able to get- to be much useful or use in this particular run. It's a very spread out map. But it's gonna be over before long anyway. Alright, so... I'll just pick somebody to heal- oh, let's not hang out on the teleporter unless I want- unless I want to. Um... I'll just go ahead and heal somebody again, why not? We'll use a big expensive scary heal and we'll do it over- That's a clone. Do I really have no one useful to heal? I really don't. Let's just cast heal anyway, I guess. I'll support you. Yay, experience probably. All right, no, I think I got everyone off the lasers. <laughs> I'll be bummed out if I figure if I feel like I forgot that. Yeah, they're pretty much they're down to like two gunners and two healers, so this is going to be very over very soon. Um, hello. Let's go ahead and just nuke them. Killer spin. Oh, even that will kill them. Do I have a weaker attack? Not really. Well, let's see what, what uh, Gisela can do. Maybe maybe even she can one-shot them. Not with that attack. Flatty Dance. Nope. Well, we have a clone over here. Maybe a weak clone attack can save the day. Purgatory Palm. Height problem. Hellfire shot. Alright. What if it's just, uh, just a normal attack? Not very effective. Triple strike, up, oh, zone obstructed, we can do that, though. Height problem, god damn it. Hey, you're, you're relatively weak, aren't you? You're not gonna do it, give us that much help. Purgatory problem is probably the way to go. Alright. If I'm hitting you off-center, is it less of a kill? Oops, wrong position. Can't move further away. I could probably do it from there. No. What if I just do normal attack? Even that would kill, huh? Girl Laharl's just a very strong character at the moment. Um, special. Well, what do you transform and do? Fist weapons. He could, hey, she can probably use fist weapons. All right. Let's let's do a magic change for once then. Yusalia the Fist Weapons. I've actually never transformed her yet. It's weird to transform an overlord. 
All right. So the, I wonder if Yuseli will now get, uh, does Yuselian now get points if this kills? Watch it not even kill anyway. That didn't even kill. Of course it didn't. All right, well, that happened. That was a thing that happened. Let's try to get her off of the danger zones. Let's see, how far does piercing light go? Only not only far enough to kill zero can. <laughs> All right. So you you guys can just destroy this character real quick. Uh, your shadows are about to vanish, but let's go ahead and get you off that spot anyway. Oh, 30% chance of hitting. Let's see how two of you do. One of you got it. All right. I have to actually scout a little bit. Where are the remaining enemies? There's one over here. I should just assign that attack right now. I don't know why I'm leaving it up to chance. And you are vulnerable to ice, so if he doesn't get it, you'll take care of it. There we go. That character's almost certainly dead. There's one down here that's pretty much gonna die as soon as I hit them with something. And this is the one I kill. All right, so we're basically done. Such a big map, I have to actually kind of scout out to figure out where the hell the remaining enemies are. If I throw Dargona, she probably still can't get into range, huh? Not really. Not unless Christo can come over here. Let's see. Lift Dargona. Throw her down. Is that as far you can make it? Mega Wind will probably hit? Yeah. There we go. Yay! You got experience, Dargona! You mattered for a second. She used to be my powerhouse character. But she's fallen on hard times a bit. Damn, Red Magnus, no no, no slacking today. We came here to destroy the last magical spear. We don't have time for a pointless fight. That's right, Blip. There's no reason for us to fight anyone who isn't a member of the Lost Plan. My, how much trouble does my cowardly father plan to cause for us? Father, you're an idiot! That voice, is it my daughter, Serafina's? Father? Ooh, you've returned. It's all right, bodyguards, stand down. There's still one atrocious-looking guy left. Oh, you truly are, Serafina. I'm glad you've come back. Father! Gah? That's Sis's Pops? They don't look alike at all, Blip. This is quite a mystery. His looks are merely camouflaged to protect himself. It's a simple trick. If he looks scary, fewer enemies will try to invade us. He used to be a refined gentleman with gray hair, but he modified himself, as you can see. He's completely unrecognizable. For a coward, he's quite hardcore. He's willing to go to great lengths. <laughs> you became a coward when you got too attached to money. Serafina, you came back. Does this mean you've made your decision? About what? Marrying Void Dark, of course. If you two tie the knot, we can strike an alliance with the Lost. Then, Gorgeous won't be destroyed. Father, there's no time for that. Void Dark launched a magical spear that should have landed somewhere in this netherworld. We need to destroy... Yes, yes, don't worry about that. It wasn't able to pierce through my steel fortress. It was lying around on the floor. The magical spear couldn't pierce the castle, Blip? It must be sturdy. And just where might that magical spear be right now? I thought it would fetch a high price, so I stored it in the throne room. It's dangerous. 
the magical spear absorbs energy until it's destroyed. Let's hurry up and check out the throne room. Wait a second. Who do you think you are trying to enter the throne room without permission? I don't even know who you are. I won't allow it. Allow me to introduce you, Father. This is Sir Kilia, my fiancé. Really? When'd you guys get engaged, bro? Everyone listen. Just play along. Hey, hold on. I haven't heard any of this. I won't allow you to marry anyone other than Void Dark. Father, Sir Kilia was once the feared tyrant overlord Kilidia. Do you still object to our union? Tyrant Overlord Kilidia? The Overlord of Cryoblood? I heard he died. Sir Kilia will surely defeat Void Dark, so there is no longer any need for that other marriage. Hmm. Tyrant Overlord Kilidia. Whoa, whoa! This guy's seriously thinking it over now. You're really gonna have to marry her, Kilia. I'm speechless. My guests, I need to have a word with my daughter regarding her future, so would you please excuse us? What do you want to talk about? If it's about the marriage, then I refuse. It's not that. Gorgeous is currently in great danger. I already know that. That's why we came to destroy the magical spear. I don't care about the magical spear. Something even worse is happening. What is it? Gorgeous, the richest nation in all of the three worlds, is financially bankrupt. What? All of Gorgeous's wealth is gone. I've invested it all to construct this colossal underground shelter. Zero cash, zero art, and zero jewelry. I've sold and spent it all. Which means you and I are now both poor. No! What happened to all my clothes and jewelry? I sold those a long time ago. Because of my cowardly father, I am now poor? Ah! Are you going to shoot your father? Killing me won't change the fact that you're poor. A dream? Yes, it must be a dream. Seraphina, do you hate being poor? Of course! Yes, I hate it too. That is why we need to turn the people you brought with you over to the lost. Tyrant Overlord Kilidia and the Scorching Storm Overlord Red Magnus, all of them would fetch a high price. What are you saying, Father? I'm fine with selling out that musclehead Red Magnus, but Sir Kilia is my fiancé! Who cares? I've been tricking all of the overlords and Majins who wanted to marry you and stole all of their valuables. W what did you say? There's nothing wrong with that. I wanted to give you a good life, so I've been using you as bait to make money. No, tell me that's a lie. I did it all for you. You don't want to be poor, do you? W well Then it's settled. You're going to be helping me, 